the first step in doing this division is to put 1,782 inside the division box, and 11 goes on the outside. And then notice the divisor 11 has two digits, so this is a little bit tougher long division problem. We talked about these in the lesson. You can't just use your division facts to divide by two digits, but let's go through the steps. The first step is try to divide 11 into 1. One's too small, though, so we need to divide 11 into 17, and it will go one time, so we put a 1 up on top, and then 1 times 11 is 11, and now we subtract. 17 minus 11 is 6, and then bringing down the next digit, which is an 8, that turns the 6 into 68, and now we have to figure out how many times does 11 go into 68. And this is tough. These are pretty big numbers, but the thing about multiplying by 11, the Answers are easy to memorize because 11 times 2 is 22, 11 times 3 is 33, 11 times 4 is 44, 11 times 5 is 55. Do you see the pattern? The answer is always just whatever you multiply 11 by twice. You just take that number and put it twice. 2 becomes 22, 3 becomes 33. And so 11 times 6 has to be 66. That's the way the pattern works. And see, 66 is just a little bit less than 68. So... What that means is 11 must go into 68 six times because we know that 11 times 6 is 66. And so let's go ahead and put 66 below the 68 because we need to multiply. That's the next step, 6 times 11. And now we subtract. 68 minus 66 is 2. And then we bring down the next digit, which is a 2. And that changes the 2 into 22. Now how many times does 11 divide into 22? We'll remember the pattern. 11 times 2 is 22. So 11 goes into 22 two times. And then 2 times 11 is 22. We put that down at the bottom. And then the last step is to subtract. 22 minus 22 is 0. So there's no remainder on this. And the answer to practice C is 162.